Today, folks, I'm going to be diving into a app called Glasp, and it is a extension on Chrome, and I'm going to dive into how it could be a great way to highlight stuff on the web. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Francesco, and we dive into plenty of productivity applications, including many more like this. So it'd be great to have you as a subscriber. Click it below and honestly, just become one of the community, and it'd be great to have you. So let's start with what Glasp is. Glasp is a social web highlighter. That's how they describe themselves and allows you to highlight, store and resurface any of the notes that you want to capture when you're on the web. Now, I've been pretty impressed by this application, but just to note, it's actually currently in beta. So let's zoom into some of the major features. Now, the great thing is when you're using Glasp, you can capture stuff just by dragging your cursor over a certain piece of text that you want to capture. Now, what's great is you can highlight it in a different color, but primarily you can take a note alongside of it. Now, we've seen applications like this pretty popular out there, but I think Glasp has a slightly different approach that Memex was trying to replicate. If you haven't heard of Memex, we've done a full review of it last year, and you'll find that link in the description. However, the social element of it allows you to create a profile that's based around some of the things that you're clipping on the go, whether that's pieces of articles, useful resources, and making notes on them to share socially. If you want to, it's totally optional as part of the experience. And the profiles come out very much like Facebook do, and I really like how they do that. Now, my personal favorites from using this, you can actually export all of your clips or highlights over to popular note-taking applications. You can find them fully listed below, as well as be able to capture stuff on the go, which is really nice. But the one thing I really like is the heat map for capturing, allowing you to see how many times you're capturing things across a certain week and a certain month. This gives you a great productive habit to keep going and naturally keep that in curiosity as you're searching the web and be able to capture things on the go. Now, in terms of security, apparently the glass actually don't track your browser history or don't track your browsing content and they have no intention of selling of your information or data. That's according to their security information and something that Memex also did as well as part of their security and data protection. But obviously well worth reading some of their security because these applications tend to use a bit more sort of activation to get them started and starting to, you know, give permissions uh, for what you need to get done and capture on the go. So in terms of a score and summary, I definitely recommend this for people who are looking for a quick and easy capture of ideas and thoughts, but those who also want to share and collect those ideas together. It's very similar to Memex, but in a way has a different layer to it. And I think the social profiles make it a really interesting approach to capturing ideas and thoughts, especially if you run a newsletter or maybe even want to share stuff with people on your social media a bit more and they can follow your Glasp account and get an idea for what you're capturing on the go. And also being able to save it to note-taking applications is another huge bonus. That's why I'm giving it a B plus. It's in its early stages, but I am impressed at it so far. So hopefully you found this video helpful. It'd be really amazing to have you back on the channel. So do subscribe, comment below with your thoughts on Glass, and also if you do fancy checking out our other courses, they'll be linked in the description below. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.